Hey folks, I'm Thomas. I do fun stuff here at Turbine Kreuzberg. And today I've got a very special Turbine journey for you. I'm talking to Lars Eichler. Lars is a developer who's back for a second time around. So he's a re -Turbini. I wanted to hear from him about his journey so far, the new role that he's in at Turbine, and what actually made him decide to come back. So here we go. Hello Lars, welcome to Turbine Journey. I'm so glad you could join me finally for an in-person interview. Hi Thomas, <laughs> thank you for having me. <laughs> this, is, this is so fun because we haven't done one of these in person yet. We started doing Turbine Journeys when everybody was sitting at home doing it remotely. And you're my first guest right here at the office in person. So. Oh, in person, so great. <laughs> yeah, really looking forward to it. I've really been, been looking forward to this uh, for the past couple of weeks. Um, so your story is a very special Turbine Journey. Um, because you are a Turbine retournee, right? So uh, this is your second time around at Turbine Kreuzberg, which you just started, I think, uh, in February. Mm -hmm, exactly. um, and uh, you've been away for a year and now you're back. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a retourbini. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, re <-turbini>, that's a <laughs> good word, good word. We will, we will use that. Um, so first of all, what have you been doing in the last year? Um, I work for a Leipziger company. Yeah, I just... I wanted to explore some some new fields uh, away from from e-commerce, mm -hmm. and that went quite well for me. It, it worked good, um, but uh, so the projects were fun, but the team and the, and the company spirit were not my kind of style. Okay, it was not the Tobina style which I really ah. missed in that <laughs> uh, in, in that year. Yeah, yeah. I always say that, uh, uh, or I, I kind of joke that. Being at Turbine ruins you for maybe future endeavors whenever you go to a different company. It's like, oh, this isn't the same. And I kind of experienced it in a different way at Turbine. And then it's like, hmm, kind of want to go back. So it, it ruins you, definitely. It definitely <laughs> is because Turbine puts more effort into, into um, be the team being a team and, and everyone understands each other and, and uh, is good with each other. And in other companies, that's just not the mm -hmm. focus, the main focus. They're just, okay, here are people do their work and that's it. Yeah. But Turbina really puts an effort into uh, the, the team itself. Mm -hmm. So projects are more team centered than, than project centered, I'd, I'd say. Okay. Um, so now that you're back, you can, you, you're the only person who can say, uh, what are some things that might have changed uh, while you were away? <laughs> yeah, well, of course, there's some, some exchange in, in the faces. Yeah. Um, like some others were gone, some new faces came in, uh, <laughs> other people are coming back as well, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> um, the, the Bishkek expansion is mm -hmm. quite interesting. Um, and a really great team there. Yeah. <laughs> unfortunately, I haven't talked to, to that much of them yet, but I'm, I'm really curious. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, maybe it's for the breakout week to finally meet someone yeah. of them. Yeah. And Besides that, the new fields in, in, in projects are very interesting to me because, um, of course, uh, not having not only a Spryker and, and um, e-commerce projects, mm -hmm. but spreading around in, in the so uh, web software, yeah. software development at all, um, that's quite interesting. D discovering new fields. Mm -hmm. I, like, I really like that, yeah. Cool. So what about your own role? Um, so now we've talked about what's changed at Turbine, but like your own role has changed as well um, from the first time you were here. Um, how? <laughs> yeah, of course, the first time I was just a developer, uh, one of many. Now I'm uh, em uh, employed as, as a technical director mm -hmm. and... Um, Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and of course, uh, with this comes a, a completely different responsibilities and um, some new... Yeah, some new tasks on the plate, which are exactly what I wanted. Um, I wanted to have more um, responsibilities and, and uh, opportunities to, to ma make an impact. Yeah. Like to, to teach other colleagues to, to uh, have an advice in which direction we can go and so on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, this was exactly what I was looking for. And by now it's working. <laughs> Quite good. I really like my, my uh, team colleagues in that field as well. Mm -hmm. um, so the other technical directors, mm -hmm. yeah. We have a great way of communication and it works. Cool. <laughs> that's, that, that's really great to hear. So um, is, there, is there one thing maybe, this is something I always, always, I always ask and always catch people off guard with. Um, <laughs> is, there, is there one thing uh, about your job right now um, that people tend to misunderstand or that people don't know? 
Okay. <laughs> One part of my job that people seem to miss. Yeah, yeah that, that is really off guard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some, some, of the, some of the developers have said so far that, you know, uh, uh, coding is not the way you think it is. Coding is not like it is in the movies, that people are sitting yeah. in their basements and stuff like that. Or but ev every, in, in every developer knows that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But uh, like something like that, is there something about being a technical director that's, that, you wouldn't, that you wouldn't guess? Not directly, no, okay. sorry. All right. <laughs> All right, and then um, to finish up, kind of, um, what's something that you would really like to do at Turbine Kreuzberg? I don't know, today, tomorrow, next year, during breakout, whenever? Yeah, what I really would like to do is to have everybody from Turbine, from all the other places, Faro, Bishkek, Leipzig, have everyone here in Berlin and, and get to know each, each and everyone. Mm -hmm. Just say hello, at, uh, exchange a few words. That's, that's what I really was, am looking for. Yeah, cool. And we are planning that. I mean, summer is coming around. Um, spring party is on. We've got uh, our breakout week coming up in the summer. So we are going to try and get everybody together again. And especially now that we, we we're not just having people working at different offices in, in, in Germany and in Portugal, but we have people basically everywhere. Right. So people are now uh, in Lisbon. People are in France, uh, everywhere. Yeah. And it's really, really fun to have everybody in one place, at least for a short period of time. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. So thank you very much, Lars. Uh, it's been a pleasure and I hope to see you around uh, in the next couple of months. Thank you. Thank you. Too.